We're converting to vertex form, and this time we're going to be dealing with more fractions than we were before. Now keep in mind, you're still just completing the square. So in this case, step one, I'm going to factor a three from the first two terms in order to make a perfect square trinomial. And when I factor a three from the four x term, it becomes four thirds x. Now I'm ready for to proceed to step two. And in step two, I'm going to take this x squared plus four thirds x, and I'm going to make a perfect square trinomial out of that so that I can complete the square properly. So I'll just move this bracket over a little bit, and what I need is one half of four thirds squared, which is equal to four sixths, because one half of four thirds is four sixths, and when I do the square, of course, that's equal to sixteen thirty-sixths, and when I put that in lowest terms, that is equal to four ninths. And so I'm going to add four ninths in. And of course, there is my perfect square trinomial, but I also have to subtract four ninths out so that I don't change things. And I'm going to be dealing with that four ninths next time. And so there it is. I'm on my way to making a perfect square trinomial. I just have to tweak that. And so in this case, I'm going to have to remove the extra term from this bracket. This minus four ninths is going to have to come out of there. Now, because everything in that bracket is being multiplied by three, it's not as simple as just taking the minus four ninths out. I need to multiply it by three. And of course, four ninths times three is 12 ninths. So there. Now I have my perfect square trinomial. For step four, I'm just going to simplify this a little bit. Negative 12 ninths plus five, and of course five is equal to 45 ninths, and negative 12 ninths plus five is equal to 33 ninths. And so there's my simplified trinomial. And so it's just a matter of converting this perfect squared trinomial into a binomial squared for the final step, and it becomes y equals three x, plus, and of course the square root of four ninths is two thirds, and half of four thirds is two thirds, so I know that this is going to be two thirds. And so there's my binomial squared, and of course nothing changes here at the end, plus 33 ninths.